in any city, in any country. Go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, ask to visit someone who calls himself the holder of rot. If the worker smiles, walk quickly and promptly out of the building. You are not to run, stop, or speak until you can no longer see the building behind you. If the worker instead walks promptly off in disgust, follow closely. You will be led down a long corridor, which seems to crumble the further down you travel. And eventually, you will find a hall littered with corpses in various stages of rot. In time, you will come across a crumbling door. The worker will then turn around, prompt as ever, and fall to the floor. He is little more than a skeleton with chunks of dried flesh clinging to the filthy, partially corroded bones. Step over him and gently press the door open. You will enter a foul stone cell with more dead bodies strewn about. In the center of this cell are two chairs and a table made of rotted wood. In the chair on the opposite side, there will be yet another moldering corpse. This one in a tattered, filthy black robe. Sit upon the chair, which you will find surprisingly sturdy, despite the rot. And the corpse will sit up straight, gazing at you with eyes that are not there. Do not move or speak under any circumstance. The corpse will ask you to tell it what you are. The proper reply is to point upwards. The corpse will nod and motion similarly upwards. Look up and you will find a rotting head on a chain no more than five feet above you grinning down at you widely. Reach up for it quickly. For every second that you do not have the head in your possession, you will find yourself rotting from the inside out. Be quick about it, and the rot will, hopefully, be reversed. The wall opposite of you shall crumble, and you must exit out that way with the head in your possession. Do not leave the head. You will awake in the closest concentration of dead bodies. This includes places such as morgues as well as graveyards, depending on which one has the more concentration of dead bodies. The head itself, mind you, will probably be the one to wake you. It's now a grisly sort of sidekick, or friend, if you prefer. If nothing else, it does make a good conversation when you're bored or isolated. If you're fortunate, the head just might know something about the next item you go after. It's not likely, however. The head also appears to prevent nightmares when sleeping in its presence. But there may be one or two that slip through. And trust me, they won't be run-of-the-mill terrors if the head can't stop them. The head is Object 354 out of 538. Never, under any circumstances, should you ever ask the head who it is?